If you want to spend the night just a few minutes away from LA but still feel like you're on top of the world, you can by glamping it up in this rustic bohemian getaway. Purchased in 2005, this property was envisioned as a place where all guests can come, unplug from the stresses in life, and reconnect with those who mean the most to them. I mean, this place is just so incredible. I love it. I mean, how do you describe this experience? Simplicity, um, getting back to nature to find who you are again, uh, whether it be you know, as a couple or yeah. just as yourself. Probably 99.9% .9 of people that come up here go, wow, like this is LA. So there's all these different spaces mm -hmm. on the property. And tell me about the moon room. Okay, the moon room was the beginning. I have a beautiful palm tree in the worst place because you couldn't really see it. So the palm tree became the back of the moon room. So the moon room just kept growing from there. Um, also, the moon comes right up, right there. Yeah. And that's that's the moon room. Yeah, exactly. But it's all very simple. It's not like this like, grandeur, but it's just simplicity, simple fabrics. And then you took that into the trailer. We have two trailers and then the bigger one I rent out. What I love is that yeah. ceiling. Oh, cool. that's just sheets, like old embroidered like sheets that grandma we'd have. And now no one wants them. And I, and I, I use that as the, as the ceiling. Lydia purchased this vintage travel trailer for just $2,000 and it looked nothing like it does now. It's beautifully outfitted with an airy sleeping space, a cozy spot to relax, and a kitchenette. Her artistic imprint is evident everywhere, from the reclaimed wood adorning the walls to the funky furniture that makes up the dining area and the Hollywood-inspired accessories. But she literally started with nothing. And I just got in there with a sledgehammer and I just started from scratch. She's constantly evolving everything. There's like a little bar area and I just had put it there and then the next day someone sat out there and had their breakfast. And I was like, oh, cool. So that's the next space. So creating little spaces because each space may have some kind of feeling for each visitor. And there's hiking right here. You can go hiking for miles. There's three hours. <laughs> Well, there's three hours of hiking either side. I mean, it's like, so there's th stuff to do. Owls and the sounds of coyotes and, and crickets. I mean, it really is beautiful. The TV will be there when you get back home. That's true. Maybe you should head to LA, make the drive up to Topanga Canyon, and check into Silver Sky Acres. <laughs>